Welcome to our do-it-yourself paint making video on how to make oil paint at home. Are you a student or a housewife, sit-at-home mom, retiree, or a do-it-yourself actress looking to save up about 60% on your paint expenses? Then this video is for you. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make 100 liters or 25 gallons of high quality sovereign base white oil paint that you can produce yourself without hiring a professional and with a guarantee of more than six years of durability. Plus, you would have saved a significant amount of money by making this paint yourself. Let's get started. Oil paint are stable in the market and secondly to emulsion paint. They are mainly used for exterior finishing of houses, metal works and other surfaces, making them versatile for both residential and commercial buildings. Oil paint are sovereign based paint, meaning they don't require water in the production process. Instead, Sovereignty like fuel, kerosene, or thinners to break down the thick binder, which is called acrylic resin. These paints take time to dry, so they often need drying agents to speed up the process. Oil paints are ideal for wood, iron, and metals. Now, let's talk about the chemicals and tools needed in the production process to make oil paint. You will keep it simple with tools you can easily find around you. First, ensure you have a well-ventilated workspace. It is crucial to go through the technical data sheets of the chemicals we'll be using to handle these chemicals safely. Always wear safety hand gloves and nose marks when working with these chemicals to avoid inhaling them. You will also need a weighing skill to measure the chemicals accurately. If you don't have one, ask your chemical supplier to measure them for you. However, I recommend having your digital weighing skill to ensure accuracy. Inaccurate measurement can affect the production and durability of the paint. You need a mixing machine or a turning stick for manual mixing. For mixing 100 liters of oil paint, you will need a large drum, but if you're mixing smaller quantities, like about 20 Liters container will do for the making of oil paint production. Remember, since this is oil based paint, you won't need water or detergent for cleanup. Rather, you can make use of kerosene to remove oil from your equipment, then wash with water and detergent later. For the raw materials requirement, the chemicals, we are going to be using acleric resin, titanium dioxide, kerosene, MEKO, which is your MECO, mixed dryer, organic clay. So, we are going to be using acleric resin as the binder. For oil sovereign paint and also we have two types of acleric resin which are the light resin and the tea resin. The light resin makes the oil paint to shine while the thick resin gives it volume and makes it thick. Also the titanium dioxide serves as the opacity and coverage while 
the kerosene serve as the solvent which we are going to be using for the mixture of all chemicals. And the miko serve as the anti skin agent. The mix dryer speeds up the drying time and then the DOP increases the shining. The P1000, which is your PA, helps with the pigment disparation. So, for more information about all the chemicals and how to produce oil covenant-based paint, don't forget we already have a comprehensive ebook and you can get it for free. Kindly click in the link in our description below to contact us so we can forward the free ebook on oil based covenant paint. Also, you get to read about the chemicals which are to be used in the production process of oil sovereignty based paint. Now, it is very important that you get all the chemicals ready in the right quantity. And as you can see on your screen, I'm going to list quantity for all chemicals mention raisin which will be needing 37 kg then titanium dioxide 10 kg kerosene or fuel 30 liters miku 1 kg mic dryer 4 kg dop 1 kg organic clay 4 kg then the PA-1000, 1 kg. Now let's get into the step-by-step -step production process on how to make oil sovereignty based white paint. So follow along carefully. Step one is the preparing the base. So first add the resin, which is half of the 37 kg of the resin into the mixing drum. Then add the 10 kg of titanium dioxide and 4 kg of the organic clay. But wait first. Before adding the titanium dioxide and organic clay, I will advise you to make sure you get a separate bowl and mix the titanium dioxide and organic clay with little water, very little water. This enables the titanium dioxide to grind well when added into the resin because a lot of paints manufacturers just add the titanium directly into the mixing process and at the end of the day they find out it has particles little particles when applied so depending on how you want to achieve the smoothness of your oil based sovereignty paint and then the next will add the kerosene but don't add it all at once which leads us to step two, adding the sovereignty. Like I said earlier on, sovereignty for oil-based paint are the kerosene, not water. So pour in some of the 30 liters of the kerosene or fuel slowly while the mixing is running. This creates a friction. So you have to allow the pigment to grind properly and this should take about 30 minutes. That is why I said if you want to achieve a smoother outcome of your oil paint, 
first of all, dissolve the titanium dioxide and the organic clay before adding it into the mixer. Step three, adding the additive. So at this stage, you add the PA1000, pour in the one kg of the PA1000, continue mixing, let the mixture grind until it is smooth and consistent. Step four, final additive. At this stage, you add the miko, pour in the one kg of the miko to prevent the paint from skinning. And then you add the mixed dryer of four kg to speed up the drying time. And you stir. The next chemical to add is the DOP. You add the one kg of the DOP for increasing the shining of the oil base paint. Please take note as you are adding each chemicals, make sure you are steering the production for a smooth outcome. And the remaining kerosene gradually. Remember, it was not all the kerosene we added in the early stage. So now is the time for you the, to add the remaining kerosene gradually, add the rest of the kerosene to control velocity. As you keep stirring, you now add the remaining raisin. Finally, like I said, you add the rest of the resin to complete the mixture. Once all the chemicals are added and you've mixed until all the chemicals are well blended, then we'll move over to step five, which is quality check. So you have to test the paint by applying a small amount of the paint to the surfaces, that is wall, on the wall, to check for consistencies and drying time. Of course, you have to test run it, you check for the coverage, and you check for how the paint dry quickly. If everything looks good, it is now time to package the paint, which leads us to step six which is packaging so pour the paint into a container carefully pour the paint into a clean airtight container if you can hear me properly i said pour in your oil based paint into a clean and airtight container then you label the container you know most of us might want to sell the oil base paint. So you cannot just sell it on a plain container. So you have to label each of the containers with the date of production and content. And of course, you have to use your own branded stickers for those of us, like I said, who will be selling the gloss paint. And there you have it, your 100 liters of high quality souvenir base white oil paint, which is your 25, 4 liters gallon, is ready for any project you have in mind. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up by liking this video and subscribe for more do it yourself guide video and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will never miss any update for more details guide and tips check out the link on your screen now and remember you can get our comprehensive ebook on oil based paint production for free just click the link in the description to get See you next time. Bye for now.